Hey everybody and welcome to this special and sat, 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 Saturn going into retrograde from the 17th of June right up until the 4th of November 2023. So yeah, let's dive right in. Saturn entering retrograde in Aquarius. Remember I do constellational astrology. So Saturn is in Aquarius um, in that system. So yeah, when Saturn's retrograde in Aquarius, it wants us to take a step back because remember Aquarius is a tax energy that wants us to look at things in a more objective way, even our emotions. So the tagline of the degree that Saturn will be in when it goes retrograde is the fourth. 14th degree of Aquarius and the train entering a tunnel is the tagline and the symbology so a train and a tunnel so this can bring about a significant shift of energy in the cosmos and obviously on life and earth as well so this retrograde period is an opportunity for personal spiritual career growth whatever you're focusing on right now and all in all it's a good period to re-evaluate your goals and objectives in all areas of our lives because Saturn is known as the planet of karma in astrology and it's feared people hate Saturn energy because yeah it does kind of sometimes delay the things that we want the most or you know we may feel like we're falling in love or getting that job and then something goes wrong but what Saturn really wants us to do it's role day even though it can be horrible sometimes the way that it just takes things away with us kind of like our Pluto does as well but both of these energies just want us to actually think about what we really want out of life and yeah you may want to be a creative person you may want to be a writer a dancer an actor or influencer but what does it really take it's not just about all the sort reels that we see online it's about finding content it's about being consistent it's about keep on going even though you may not be getting the views and stuff overnight and just having a strategy and most importantly believing in yourself and getting the skills that you need to do whatever it is you want to do because it won't just fall out of the sky our goals and ambitions for 99 percent of us so we just have to be prepared to do the hard work and that's essentially what saturn energy is all about it's about looking at our past dealing with our past karma working through our emotional spiritual psychological wounds and taking practical actions to live our best life so while all of this can be challenging to navigate, it's essential to work through any changes and challenges and obstacles and use them to your advantage rather than let them stop you. And even though it can be hard because you know negative energy, things may end that you really want to keep and you just may just be totally overwhelmed. But when Saturn goes retrograde, it gives us the opportunity to take a step back and gain a new perspective on our lives. It allows us to reevaluate our beliefs, values and goals and to make the necessary changes that can help us move forward with more confidence and clarity. From a karmic and past life perspective, Saturn in retrograde can bring up unresolved issues from the past, as I said earlier, especially those related to social and political views and our relationships with our friends and our communities and any groups that we may belong to as well. So any issues that come up with your life to do with your social values, professional values and particular views must be addressed and resolved during this retrograde period so you can move forward and make more progress in your life. The energy of Saturn in retrograde urges us to take a closer look at our responsibilities, limitations and karmic debts. You can expect to face challenges and confrontations that test your integrity and discipline during this period. So when Saturn goes into retrograde, it's making a few aspects. So it's making a bisectile to the moon, a trip septile to Venus and a square to Mercury. And these will add various um, influences, which I'll talk about in a short while. And effective use of these energies will all overall require patience, perseverance and an open mind towards the lesson Saturn in Aquarius in retrograde has to offer. By embracing the disciplined transformative power of Saturn, you can emerge from this transit stronger, wiser and more aligned with your true purpose in life. So on the esoteric and deeper spiritual meaning, this is the time to go deep within ourselves like a train entering a tunnel to reflect on our past actions and learn from them to do this we must uncover and start or continue to heal the unhealthy subconscious thought patterns and repressed emotions that drive our self-destructive behaviors 
Okay, in terms of how it will impact different areas of life, career and education development, there can be um, challenges, as you know, as I said earlier, Saturn's energy can bring delays in our goals, but as I said, with persistence, it can also provide an opportunity for growth and learning. Spiritual and personal growth can be greatly increased during this time as we are encouraged to reflect on our inner lives. Committed relationships may feel a bit strained, but it's also a time when we can work on strengthening our partnerships by addressing any underlying issues and taking responsibility for our actions. On the other hand, hookups may not do as well during this period as Saturn's energy tends to favour commitment and stability over casual flings. So yeah, essentially Saturn going retrograde in Aquarius wants us to revisit old patterns and behaviours that are no longer serving us. This can be related to past lives or early childhood experiences or adulthood heartbreaks, setbacks and stuff like that that have shaped your beliefs and daily habits. This retrograde period provides an opportunity to break free from these patterns and create new positive ones. Okay, it is important to remember that Saturn going into retrograde is not something to be feared or avoided, but embraced as time for reflection and growth. By looking inward and dealing with any issues that come up, we can emerge from this period stronger, wiser and more grounded. So yeah, it's best to embrace this retrograde with open hearts and minds and being ready to learn and grow from any challenges that it presents. So now I'm going to talk about all the aspects that take place when Saturn goes into retrograde and then I'm going to go deeper into what it means for committed relationships and all of that. So yeah, you know, I've already summarised it, but if you want the deeper version, keep on listening. So the first aspect is Saturn's bisectile to the moon and this will create an overall sense of stability, especially in emotional matters. This aspect allows us to maintain a sense of equilibrium, balance, even in times of chaos and uncertainty. The moon spy quinta to Saturn as it goes into retrograde provides the vibration to create a peaceful and secure home environment or to work on building a solid relationship foundation. The energy of this aspect helps us to feel grounded and centred, allowing us to navigate through any difficult emotions or situations that may come up during this transit. It's important to use this energy to establish a strong sense of inner peace and to practice self-care and nurturing activities during this time. By doing so, you can maximise the positive effects of this aspect and make the most of Saturn being in retrograde in Aquarius, which is going to be for about five months until the 4th of November. So yeah, the square to Mercury brings opportunities for communication and understanding. During this transit, it's best to approach communication with intention and mindfulness of the words that you use and how they will be received. So just, you know, choose your words and actions carefully. Don't let others cross your boundaries as well. It's important to remember that words can have a significant impact, especially when the energy of Saturn is involved. The square aspect demands that we pay attention to details and this can help us better convey, get over our thoughts and ideas to others. This alignment can also help us better understand different points of view as Saturn's energy can bring discipline and structure to our thinking, enabling us to stay focused and engaged in conversations even when they become challenging. So this is good, you know, because heated discussions can happen during Saturn's retrograde. The past can come up and you may have to discuss the past with exes or family members and things can get heated. So this aspect helps us stay focused. It's beneficial to... Create open and honest communication which can help you strengthen your relationships and deepen your understanding of yourself and others. Venus Trepseptal Saturn can bring a focus on relationships and building harmony. Although it's a minor aspect, it creates a strong but sore influence between um, Saturn and Venus throughout the retrograde period. So it allows us to be more creative and imaginative, which can be good for improving our relationships. Venus is the planet of love, beauty and harmony. And when it's in triceptile aspect with Saturn, it makes it 
easier to repair damaging our relationships and build more positive ones it's a perfect time for us to focus on nurturing relationships and it will be a good time to put extra effort in to create harmony intimate significant relationships so that's what Saturn's all about hard work is the key theme of Saturn so yeah Mars also make a quadrinuval to Saturn at this time so this allows us to be more assertive and ambitious the energy of this aspect serves as a reminder to focus on our goals and take actions towards achieving them while Saturn's in retrograde and Neptune's going to be in retrograde in a couple of weeks too so all providing the energy to look back at the way that we see things and basically come again as Lauren Hill once sang and just you know re-evaluate our plans and do over and you know just keep on going through any challenges um, solving those problems effectively and building the courage and confidence to you know let go of the past and step into your future but we also have to be careful not to let our passions and motivations lead us towards impulsive and reckless actions instead we should channel this energy towards constructive positive paths and goals such as practicing self-discipline pursuing our careers and taking on leadership roles by using the assertiveness and ambition that Mars's quadrinuva to Saturn brings we can make the use of um, Saturn's retrograde in Aquarius and achieve our desired outcomes if we're prepared to work hard and focus and to let go and to change our habits as well. Jupiter will make a set style to Saturn as it goes retrograde, so this brings optimism and enthusiasm, and it brings sort of like a positive and uplifting energy that can help us take on new challenges, so supporting all the other aspects that are driving us to do new things and to just go for it. And if we are optimistic and enthusiastic and confident, we can navigate any obstacles that come up during this transit. So we may feel more energetic and motivated during this time. So, you know, again, it supports and gives us the opportunity to accomplish goals and progress in our personal and professional lives. The set style between Saturn and Jupiter also creates a sense of adventure and willingness to take risks. This can lead to exciting opportunities and experiences. So, yeah overall the set star between Jupiter and Saturn gives us a chance for growth, positivity and success making it an optimal time to take advantage of all the opportunities that may come your way for the five months that Saturn's in retrograde. Also Uranus makes a quintile so this brings unexpected surprises and revelations. So a quintile happens when two planets are 72 degrees apart and in this case we're talking about Saturn and Uranus and um, Uranus also called rules Capricorn and Saturn also call rules Uranus so you know they both interchange and you know even though they may seem like opposing energies if we want to do what Saturn wants us to do which is to rethink our plans we need to make a change and Uranus is all about sudden changes so yeah so as well as the planet of innovation so this aspect during Saturn's retrograde brings unexpected surprises and secrets that may come to life or insights especially related to technology social reform and breaking free from traditional structures so if we embrace the energy of uranus during this time and be open to new ideas and opportunities that come our way then you know we can use this transit to explore innovative new approaches and methods that align with our spiritual and higher purpose and also to come up with new ideas that can also further our educational and professional goals also Chiron will also make a semi-square as Saturn goes into retrograde and this can create challenges but these challenges are there to help us develop resilience and stay in power to help us to keep on going so although it may bring some painful and unpleasant experiences such as you know bringing up emotional wounds and traumas and limiting beliefs or you may want to go ahead and finally do that project or say those words in that relationship you've been putting off but then you get you know scared and this aspect can block you in that way but whatever happens now is providing growth and healing opportunities as the semi-square between Saturn and Chiron is ultimately encouraging us to face our fears and work through them 
wanting us to develop inner strength and become more resilient in the face of adversity. So yeah, those are the aspects. Now I'm going to talk about what it means for career, educational, spiritual development, past life and the karmic meaning in more depth as well. So yeah, on the career and educational level, it wants us to diversify our skill sets to get more skills, break away from old ways of thinking and looking for new opportunities. So so yeah, in terms of career and our professional goals, it's time to break away from old ways of thinking, looking for new opportunities, being adaptable and flexible and embrace the change and challenges that come our way and explore new options and be open to new experiences, take new courses maybe, attend cinemas, to expand your knowledge base also in terms of career and education setting in Aquarius course for creative thinking and experimentation in our actions so we have a chance to reevaluate our career and educational goals and make the necessary changes in our lives to achieve them and karmically it's a reminder of the importance of continuous learning and evolving to reach our fullest potential in our professional lives and our educational ambitions. So yeah, in terms of spiritual and personal growth, it wants us to seek clarity on our paths and to take responsibility for our actions and become more disciplined in how we go about living our day-to-day life and correct any mistakes from our past as well and to use techniques such as um, meditation to connect with our inner self so as you see the key trigger words here is connecting deeper with ourselves and to the deeper meaning of our existence and our purpose we may encounter challenges and obstacles on this journey to get spiritually connected with our higher selves and to understand spiritual truths but with perseverance and determination we can emerge stronger and become more self-aware than ever before so in terms of committed relationships this is a time to focus on cooperating with each other and having more understanding for you know everyone's involved needs and perspectives so this may involve trying to understand your partner's point of view better and communicating your thoughts and feelings more clearly and honestly or being open to you know your partner be more expressive and providing space for whatever needs to happen in your relationship ultimately to allow it to grow it's a time to work towards finding balance and harmony in your relationships and to cultivate deeper levels of trust and mutual respect this process may require some effort and sacrifice but the long-term benefits can be significant can be significant for the health and sustainability of your relationships in terms of the past life and karmic meanings for relationship this wants us to address past relationship patterns and to learn important lessons about the true nature of love and commitment in terms of hookups this is a time to re-establish commitment and communication and evaluate the level of communication in your hookups if necessary and make the changes to ensure healthy communication so there's a big need during certain retrograde to be more honest and transparent in the way we talk to our hookup partners during this time taking time to understand each other's needs and desires and working together to ensure mutual satisfaction to to make sure everyone's needs are being met also on the karmic and past life level any issues with expressing their moments or setting boundaries in the hookups need to be looked into so you can move forward in your hookup or hookups with greater ease and harmony working through these issues can build stronger and more fulfilling um, relationships with your hookup partners so now i'm going to talk a bit more about the karmic meaning of saturn retrograde so karmically it wants us to build resilience as i said many times gain a deeper understanding of our karmic journey by reassessing our goals and reflecting on our past successes and failures and making any necessary changes um, so we can move forward this retrograde period can also bring about spiritual and personal growth as we confront old patterns and belief systems 
that no longer serve us. The karmic meaning of this retrograde suggests that we are being called to confront the consequences of our past actions in this life and any past lives and to learn the lessons that are necessary for our evolution and growth. By working through old patterns and building resilience, we can move forward um, with a greater clarity, purpose and become more in alignment with our true selves. So as I said, individuals can reconnect with old people or connect deeper with their spiritual selves. Saturn's retrograde helps us create an environment for reflection, allowing individuals to explore their paths, lives and karmic connections. This can lead to a great understanding of the lessons and experiences from past lives and how they can be applied to the present days. As individuals explore their spiritual selves and past lives, they may find themselves drawn to new personal growth and development paths. So yeah, all in all, Saturn retrograde from the 17th of June to the 4th of November gives us opportunities to take stock of our lives and identify areas where we need to invest more time and effort to change. It can be helpful to take some time to identify your priorities and break them down into achievable daily steps, daily being the key, and this is a note to myself as well, by embracing the changes and challenges that come up with this retrograde period we can create new opportunities for growth self-development and personal achievement remember the karmic and past life meaning of saturn retrograde in aquarius is all about letting go of what no longer serves us and using the lessons of the past to build a better more authentic future it may bring karmic and past life lessons that allow you to reflect on your actions beliefs and values and make the necessary changes to align with your true purpose and destiny while this retrograde period may bring challenges and obstacles it also offers opportunities for growth and insights and transformation by embracing the lessons of Saturn in Aquarius we can deepen our understanding of ourselves and the world around us and move forward with greater clarity wisdom and resilience so yeah that was my special on Saturn retrograde 2023 take care